welcome back to another video today we're gonna do something a little bit different I'm gonna try some light rock fishing along this uh, pier edge here so some sea fishing I've never really done light rock fishing before so it's gonna be interesting hope to catch some cod maybe some flounder we'll see I'm just using my regular drop shot rod at Berkeley Urban and I'm starting out with a Savage Gear a Savage Gear Reaction Crayfish or 3D Craw maybe it is, I don't know I'll put it below on just a 10 gram ball head Down here there is a, a slope so it goes from I think about 2 meters right next to the edge to maybe 6 meters, just a few meters out so I want to try to retrieve my lure up over this edge because I think fish should be positioned along it so I'm gonna I think I'm all the way down at the bottom and I'm just gonna jump it in oh first cast wow it's a, it's probably a cod, right? Whoa, I did not expect that quick of a reaction. Oh, it is a nice cod, actually. Okay, I'm gonna have to do a little rescue mission here. And there we have him. Would you look at that? Beautiful. Little card. This guy is... He is too small to be kept. But he's a very welcome catch. Huh. I'm gonna... Okay. My net is stuck so I'm gonna do a quick release. Okay. I wanted to release him with a net but of course my hook got stuck. Okay, so they, I thought they would like, like, a little crayfish just jumping along the bottom. It should look like something that they would feed on. Let's see if we can get another one. That was so fast. I, I have tried to fish here a few times before, but I think the mistake that I've always been doing is that I've been focused too much on getting out rather than actually getting down to the bottom I think that's the key because even if you go far out if you're just fishing in the free like in the free water column there's nothing really going on there hmm. maybe I shouldn't let the let it fall on tight line all the way because it's when it falls on the tight line it comes back towards you so now I gave it some slack first because I don't think anything anything is gonna strike instantly so let's see if it comes is that a bite? Still sinking. Oh, I missed a bite. I think giving it a little bit of action on the fall might make it a little bit more interesting. Oh, I'm gonna have to look on the footage later. That felt like quite a good bite. It's probably. I guess it's mostly the same size of cod that stay here. Maybe a few larger ones stay here as well. But on this light gear, like it's perch gear, it's good fishing. It's gonna walk it a little bit over here. Let's see. 
thing lives close to this one. It's giving it a lot of slack line. It's wanted to fall kinda. Give it a lot of slack line to allow it to fall close to the pole. Yep. Oh, this one feels better. Whoa, it just didn't even feel the tick. It was like it just picked it up. Oh, it's on the crayfish again. Another nice cod. Actually, I'm gonna get this one over here. Okay, now we can do a little bit of a better release for him. Beautiful little cod. There he is. Not a big, super big fellow, but a really nice fish. Super fun also. First time I'm really targeting them. And I can manage to catch them like this. Yeah, that's good. So yeah, definitely, they definitely like the poles. Okay, I don't know if it's stuck. Gonna give it a lot of slack again. Oh, I missed the bite. Yep. Oh, they actually, these strikes are so soft. It's like they just, they just suck it in. Some of the other cod strikes I've had when cod fishing before have been super hard. But these ones are just really chilling. There we go. Beautiful. Let's get rid of you. Get rid of you. Another beautiful card. Tiny, but very pretty. Let's get him back. Amazing. So all of them, even though I rigged on the drop shattered worm, all of them have been striking on the, or at least all the ones that I've seen landed, I've got on the Savage Gear. I'm gonna put the name. Reaction Crayfish? I'm pretty sure. It has a little rattle inside it here. I don't know if that's visible. But it comes with a little rattle chamber and there's a hole here so you can put it out if you don't want it um, and a pretty nice crayfish scent so i think that scent and the rattle and the flapping cross really attracts the the cod creates a little bit of commotion And you know, yeah, did I miss another bite? So cool, I always thought cod fishing has been super hard. Even if these are not big, like I've never caught, once before I've caught three cods in one outing because I haven't really known how to fish them. Of course, I could be just lucky today. I'm gonna have to try this more times to like confirm, confirm the method, but it seems very promising. And probably it's just a lot of it is about getting down to the bottom. It's 
But I, I think I tapped this spot out maybe. Gonna do a little repositioning. I'm gonna do two more pitches where I started. And that's gonna be that. And it's time to work. Okay, that is gonna be it. Managed to catch three cards on the little Savage Gear Reaction Crayfish. Rigged on a 10 gram ball head. Couldn't land anything on the worm. Maybe it's just the difference in distance from the bottom I have. I hope you enjoyed watching my little morning fishing session and I hope I can inspire you too to try something that's a little bit challenging. Maybe if you haven't really fished light rock fishing, I would love to hear like your suggestions for what I should try here. If And if you're a more seasoned like light rock fishing guy, I would love to hear your su suggestions for how you would approach like a spot like this one uh, that I've been fishing today. So thank you for watching and tight lining guys.